major landfall has just occurred for Mozambique in the form of Cyclone Gumbe, now a Category 3 on the Saffir Simpson scale after rapidly intensifying in the past 24 hours. It's currently located at 15.5 degrees south, 40.7 degrees east, and it's just made landfall with winds of 115 miles per hour. That's 185 kilometers per hour in a 1 minute sustained winds and a pressure of 960 millibars. Right now, the storm is moving west. Uh, West-northwest, actually, at around 8 miles per hour. Right now, the storm is a stage 6 on the CDPS scale, uh, with, with the wind speed and rain potential uh, absolutely skyrocketing in the past few hours, now up to major here. Uh, stage 6, which is a devastating landfall here uh, that has just happened in northern Mozambique, an area that is not prepared for tropical cyclones that often. Right now the storm is located, as you can see, just ever so slightly inland with a mainly southeastward dominant wind, uh, wind field right now. Um, it's just 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 made landfall, uh, literally just after the size of publication here. And right now the storm is located in kilometers, 25 kilometers away from Isle of Mozambique, 74 from Nakala, 151 from Nampula, 493 from Kremeline, and 803 from Beira. The storm is forecast to move west inland and slow down and then it will eventually turn towards the south and could re-intensify as it moves south and could be yet another landfall for the Madagascar on the cards. Um, some models are hinting at and in particular the GFS going for a pretty strong system as it moves off towards the south. So looking at what the intensity estimates are saying right now, ADT is lagging behind a little bit, only we're going with a high in category 1. Uh, but the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and Mateo France going with a going with a very low in Category 3 right now, and, that, that, and uh, our analysis agrees with that right now. So this is a look at Mateo France's forecast cone. You can see them forecasting re intensification as the system pushes off towards the south, but an intense tropical cyclone right now making landfall, or has made landfall, in northern Mozambique. Uh, a minimal Category 3 on the Saffir Simpson scale, devastating landfall here. Uh, not that often that you get landfalls of this intensity um, this far north in Mozambique. Uh, last one was Cyclone Kenneth back in 2019. That was a uh, almost a Category 5 system, um, 145 miles per hour at landfall there. Um, not uh, intensity, but certainly a pretty significant system right now. Uh, looking at these sea surface temperatures right now, you can see that they are incredibly warm right now. This will allow the system to rapidly intensify, uh, along with very low wind shear that was all under the storm. Uh, these zero temperatures are actually higher over here than they were on the other side of the Magic Ice Car, which um, I'm sure certainly help in uh, how they represent the vegetation that way. Looking at the wind speeds right now, you can see HWR uh, not going much in terms of the wind speed intensification here, uh, the, but the rainfall aspect is going to be pretty massive. You can see there are areas receiving uh, multiple inches of rainfall here. Looking at the intensity guidance here, you can see uh, them absolutely spiking over the last 24 hours. Uh, rather peaking right now as the storm is making landfall. Wind shear is very low and will remain, th will remain low throughout the entire 5 day period. And sea surface temperatures will also be the exact same story, you know. Um, very high throughout the entire 5 day period and relative humidity also going to remain favorable. So we'll have to wait and see if this rain intensifies as it pushes off towards the south. Looking at the latest satellite imagery of the storm, you can see those convective bursts ag uh, aggressively wrapping around the center uh, as the storm uh, sort of went, went towards its last 12 hours before landfall here, um, certainly uh, rapidly intensified, and uh, we could be seeing a very intense storm pushing off towards the south again from this storm, uh, so um, we'll have to wait and see on that. But for Mozambique, the threat is not over. Heavy rainfall, uh, strong winds, and storm surge are all ongoing along the coastline and it is very important that you stay tuned to your outlets for the latest information on this extremely dangerous system.